Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another video, and today we have episode 3 of Skull's Road to the Masters in Pixel Pro Golf. Last episode, we won our first game, which was, I believe, at Cypress Cove, and then our second game at Orange Rapids. We struggled to a 7th place finish. So today, we're actually going to first buy some equipment. We're going to upgrade our irons, because... Those are the most common clubs used. We're going to upgrade our drivers, get better drives, and then we have enough money left for one more upgrade. I am going to upgrade my wedges. So there we go. Got some upgrades. Then we will play Orange Rapids second today, but first we're going to play Lakeside. Although I suppose if I win Lakeside, actually I already won Lakeside, so I'm going to play Orange Rapids first, and then if I unlock it, I'm going to play Oasis Sands. And here we go, starting off at Orange Rapids. We've got a stiff wind to the west, so we're going to aim quite a bit to the east. And then we're just going to blast this tee shot, and hopefully the wind will get us in line with what we want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, it looks like we might have avoided the worst of the trees. We'll go 100% power or close to it. Will the wind carry us back? Yep, into the bunker. Not ideal. But you know what? We're going to just blast out and try to get a clean shot at the green here. Whether it's from the fairway or the rough. Do we have a clean shot? We got a clean shot at this wide side. It's going to make a very difficult putt, but at least we'll get on the green. At least we'll get on the green, and the wind will actually carry us back, which is nice. Okay, so we're going to be putting uphill for a long par. I think we can go in a straight line. The putt for par. Oh, I just missed it. All right, we've got to chip in for bogey here. And for bogey, just miss it. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, this course is not going well for me. Double bogey, we're at two over. We're going to be lucky to get back to par by the end of this course because it's a three-hole course, and... You know, plus two on one of them. We're going to have to go minus one on each of these last two. Okay, a big fairway drive to start our par four. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. And now, you know what, if I aim, because the one's going to knock it back. I'm going to get overpower a tiny bit. Okay, I think I missed it, but I think that will be close. I think I missed close. Yes, I did. Okay, easy birdie putt here. Or should be an easy birdie putt. About the time I say that, watch me miss it. No, I make it. So we're back to one over. Back to one over, which is not where I want to be. But I suppose I'll take it. And now our last hole. I'm going to club up to a three iron. Try to cut the wind Play about 95% power. Okay, I directionally missed that by a little bit, but not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. We've got a tap-in putt for birdie. Did I make it? No, I missed it. So we're going to get par, but we're going to finish it one over, which is not good. So I improved for that hole. Finished, what, 18th? And I get nothing. So we won't move up to Oasis Sands today. Instead, I'm going to go back and play Lakeside. I don't remember it super well, but I figure, you know what? Why not? Going with the driver. There we go. That should be a beautiful drive. Yep, just don't get sucked into that downhill with the trees. Our best is a three. Shot number two here. I'm going to try to play the wind a little bit. I'm going to go just under 75%. Center cut. If that's not in the hole, it's going to be okay. I left that a little too short. 
actually made a somewhat difficult putt opportunity or no that's carried all the way into the fairway i'm gonna have to chip in here so to try to rescue a birdie with the sand wedge boom in the hole got the birdie we're at one under tied for first hole number two this is a par four all righty so we're trying to get a big power up into a stiff wind so we're just going to hammer that and it's over the green onto the back of the rough but you know what we're on the island in one we have a chance at an eagle chip in here we're gonna go at about 70 percent there we go i like that shot oh i i put too much on it the wind was behind it and now i've got a chip in for birdie not my best calculation there for birdie though we chip in again i'm glad i upgraded these wedges even though i'm you know overshooting things by a little bit okay this hole i want to get to the side of the tree but i want to have clearance from the tree so then i can pop the ball over them so let's see how this shot does i might have hooked it a little bit might have hooked it slightly it's going to end up in the rough certainly less than ideal We'll go with the three iron because I'm hitting into the wind. There we go. A mostly accurate shot. That will get us onto the green most likely. Oh, yes. On the green. I was going to say, is that going in? It didn't. It was very close. And then a tap and putt. And we get another birdie. So we at least rack up some money on Lakeside. Get 1250 bucks. Move up to rank 8,373. We're in the top 10,000. So I've been invited to play in the Pro Tour. Now, you know what? Let's play Oasis Sands today. Oh no, it's a nine-hole course. Yeah, let's do it. Extra long episode today. So starting this one off, a par three. First shot, we're gonna go like 95%. Okay, that's gonna miss a little bit to the right of the hole. But you know what? That's not a bad spot to putt from. And we get an easy birdie. So we're at one under. We're at one under with the easy birdie. Hole number two. Okay, so it's a par four. Got to play into this general area. And then get from here up to the green. Oh no, I missed the swing button. I missed the swing button on the power. That's probably way too much power stop ah, we're in the bunker we're in the bunker oh and we've got to land right in that area if i miss in any direction that's coming back the wrong way all right you know what it wasn't pretty but we've got a very salvageable birdie here and i get it so we're at two under through two holes so oasis sands I'm not playing it pretty, but my ugly shots are still working out. This next hole, we're going to play up and then play onto the green once again. No wind at all. So we go 100% power, best accuracy we can get. And you know what? We finally get a shot that I'm happy with. Now, no wind once again. We're going to go... 80% power. Okay, missed it a little bit to the one side. That's going to get us very, very close. Very, very close. And there's an easy birdie as we finish it off to get to three under on the round through three holes. Now we've got a par five here on hole number four. I'm just going to trust the first shot. I'm going to play the win factor a tiny bit here. Okay, hopefully I didn't miss into the water. If I miss into the water, that would not be good. I did not miss into the water. Wasn't a great shot, but we'll take it. All right, then I'm going to play onto here and then to the green. I'm going to play a little safe, play with the eight iron. There we go. There we go. That's going to land how I want it to. There we go. Very clean shot to get to the green in three. How do I want to aim this? Aim to the side a little bit. And I'm going to go 
just under 75% power. It's a wedge shot. Oh, I didn't get over the water. That's bad. That's not good. If I don't get over the water here, oh boy, that's a disaster. I just threw away like four strokes, so I can make a comeback, but I'm going to have to make a comeback because I really just threw away a lot. And then the seventh shot, not very good to save a triple bogey. Okay, we get a triple. So we're back to even par, which, you know what? We're still in the top five. We've got plenty of golf left to recover things. Go with a simple tee shot here. Try to get T to green on this par three. And we get onto the green very solidly. Simple birdie putt, and it's in. So we're at one under again. Starting to get back there. We're actually only a stroke back. Besides the fact we got a triple, we're playing really, really well here. Par five. Just avoid the water. Avoid the bunkers and get an easy birdie or better. That's the name of the intended game. Now, no, game, don't recommend that I just play into the bunker. Please don't. We're going to play the 8 iron here. Let's play the 8 iron. Get over the sand. There we go. There we go. And now we've got a cleaner shot onto the green. About 100% power. Oh, that's going to carry, that's going to carry the wrong direction. I tried though, I tried. Okay, just, just don't get off the fringe. No, we're in the rough. Brutal, brutal. So now we're going for birdie here. And we chip in for birdie. So we're at one under, or no, two under, excuse me. Tied for first with three holes to go. And we've got a simple looking par three here. Going to try to counteract the wind. I might have missed, but that should get me in the ballpark. Oh, that's super close to a hole in one. Oh, I missed it by I missed it by an inch. Just tap it in. Oh, I overpowered the putt. Are you kidding me? How much power was I supposed to use? All right, we'll take the par. That really should have been a birdie or a hole-in-one. But, hey, we're actually a stroke up now just by securing the par. Very simple tee shot here. As long as we hit it straight and hit it with good power, we can't really mess it up. Let's see where our second shot is aiming for, though. Oh, that's pretty straightforward shot for a possible eagle. Four eagle with the sand wedge. How's it going to go just past the hole? So this should be a tap-in for birdie. Yes, it is. Tap-in for birdie. We're up to three under with one hole left to go. This hole is a par five. I put a little too little power on the tee shot, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Really, as long as I get a par, I should win. Play that onto the second fairway. And then we're going to play it onto the green here. Get it nice and close, hopefully. Go pitching wedge. Counter the wind. For power, I'm going to go 70% or so. Let's see. Is that good for three? It looks like it's in line. Green's going to carry it down slightly tap it in here we get a birdie and we win oasis sands a new course best there we go we win we win with what four under par we get seven thousand dollars so we're gonna make some big upgrades next episode and our ranking jumps to six thousand seven hundred fifty three that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new for more pixel pro golf content every thursday an episode of skulls road to the masters will be coming to the channel in the comments what do you guys think i need to do to win at orange rapids because i'm clearly struggling at orange rapids also what clubs should i upgrade next and then finally they added online play to this game i'm gonna link my discord in the description join my discord server if you would want to play online with me or with other people
and we can do that. But with all of that being said, that's going to do it for now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.